So hopefully everybody got in. Let's get this thing started right now as I go through these questions, all right? Maybe we can get another one in. Depending on how fast this goes, we might be able to get another one in, all right? So I got the eighth pick. Let's see how this goes. Obviously, my drafts, I never get the players I want, but we'll find out how, how it goes. Does Gibbs injury drop him out the first round? So Jameer Gibbs obviously dealing with a week-to-week -week injury. This isn't something I'm worried about because the team has said they think he's going to be ready for week one. So as long as he's ready for week one, I'm not really worried about it, even if it's even if it's like a split workload over the first couple of weeks. Rockout was popping. Yeah, see, this intro banging, I ain't going to lie, Grom, you have, you know what I'm saying? I ain't the best at that rap shit, but you know, I got, I got, I got some bars, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some vibes, man. So glad y'all feeling it, man. I know, I know y'all wanted the, the old one, but we gotta, sometimes we gotta switch to the new one, man. I have the third pick in the keeper league. Do I pick Saquon Gibbs, JT, or Garrett Wilson? I like Saquon the most out of these, these four, but I'm not mad whichever way you go. I'm not mad whichever way you go. Is this the new rankings? These are not the new rankings, unfortunately. Those are dropping tomorrow, probably. Tomorrow. All right, so, so far, C.D., Bijan, Tyreek Hill, Christian McCaffrey, Jettas, Amon Ross St. Brown, and Brees Hall gone, which leaves me with Jamar Chase, A.J. Brown, uh, Garrett Wilson, Jameer Gibbs, Jonathan Taylor, and Saquon Barkley. And you know what? I'm actually going to take Saquon Barkley here and try out how I feel with him at the eighth pick. This probably piss a lot of people off. Everybody hates when uh, everybody hates when I do something that's a little abnormal, but I'm going to try Saquon Barkley here at the eighth spot and see how the team pans out. I know I passed on Jamar Chase, which is probably the favorite here, um, or maybe even A.J. Brown. I, I normally would take A.J. Brown there, but I want to see how this Saquon team turns out. If you have the draft guide, the rankings will get updated. So if you have the draft guide, you'll get the new updated rankings. I will not be updating them on the autograph app. What you see is what you get on there. Jahan, JJ, what's popping? BDOT, what's popping, man? What's popping? I got you, Eric. How PBR you go Pollard, Diggs, Stevenson, or Kurt? You talking about one of the two sides? I go Diggs and Pollard. I don't think it's close. All the dubs in the chat, baby. You already know. Yeah, 50, 50K, man. You know, I, at first I was like, ah, eh, this is 50K. But the more I think about it, the more it, like, lets me know. It reinforces, like, the community, you know what I'm saying, that you build and, like, the relationships. And that you're doing the right things, man. Even if it doesn't come as fast as some others or maybe it's slower than others. You go at your own pace and you just learn to appreciate things. So shout out to everybody who's been rocking on the journey, wherever you fell in, man. If you were there from the very beginning or shit, this is your first, the first time seeing me, man. But uh, shout out to everybody who's been rocking with me forever, for however long it's been. All right, I'm up next. Mike Evans, Devontae Adams, Kyron are all gone. So normally I, I kind of got some players in this range I normally take, but they are all gone. I'm going to go Drake London here. I'm going to go Drake London. I like the pick. I like the pick Drake London right there. And a lot of people don't like Drake London in the second round. I think Drake London is like a really good pick in the second round. Jay Hen, I got on Dub Club. Let's go, Jazz Falcon. I appreciate you supporting, man. Hopefully we can, you know what I'm saying? We got some, some wins. That's all we try to do is get some wins, man. And that Dub Club, if you got the fantasy football version, trust me, this is that's like the preseason version. Um, when I get going in the real, you know, during the regular season, I promise you I got a lot more, especially even on like the all access and the betting side. I got a lot more coming your way, man. In the mock, hopefully learn something from my league. They are similar. Good. I like to hear that, man. When are we drafting the YouTube members? Sleeper League, is there a Discord channel for YouTube members? Uh, like for Dub Club? No, there's no Discord uh, for just YouTube members. But um, we will be drafting that league soon, probably next week. All right, yeah. If we do another mock, I got you, bro. We could do, we could do another mock tonight, depending on how long this one takes. Let me see how long this one takes. London and Bo Nix or Daniel Jones, Gabe Davis, and Chris Godwin. Uh, give me – that's a – I'd rather have the London side, but that's kind of a wash. Basically, London or Chris Godwin, but I go London side. I don't really like that deal, to be honest. It's Chris Godwin and throwaways for London and throwaways. I'm going to take the London side. Uh, you got St. Brown as a keeper already. Uh, you go JT or A.J. Brown. Uh, I don't care. I like AJ Brown, but if you go say if you go JT, I don't think you're gonna be mad at that. I go AJ Brown though. Or Gary, yeah, give me AJ Brown. What about Deontay Johnson instead of Gabe? So Deontay and Chris Godwin, I feel like you could get more. It's not it's not a terrible offer, but I feel like you could get more for Drake for Drake London. Thoughts on Kenneth Walker has top ten upside, right? And I think. 
Um, we got to see him involved in the passing game. I've talked about Kenneth Walker in the past. He's he's one of my favorite players in the league like to watch. I think he's just a pure runner, has electric electricity to him when he runs. But we got to see him involved in the passing game uh, with the new offensive coordinator there. So they've been talking like it's going to happen. We got to see it, though. We definitely have to see it. So far in the draft, we've seen um, – let me get to it. Let me get to it. So far in the draft, we've kind of seen a consensus for this channel where you get, you got guys like Devin A. Chan slipping, uh, Marvin Harrison and uh, slipping. So, you know, this kind of is on brand for our drafts. If you go to other drafts, you're going to see um, Kyron Williams. You're going to see guys like Devin A. Chan, uh, Marvin Harrison. They're going to go in your second round. So as we're going through this mock draft, just realize every draft is different. Not every draft is the same. Hard to find a decent QB in this league. Send it, Cade. Send one. Send for a quarterback, bro. I got you. I got you. I got you. 12 team or 14 team, two RB, three wide receiver league, standard home league, draft strategy, draft the best available player. I'm going to tell you go receivers early. Just make sure to get one running back in the first like round or two or maybe three. Your thoughts on why Tyreek over CD? Because we don't know when CD is going to see the field. That's the problem. The problem with CD Lamb is not a talent thing because I think if he plays and he gets in there in the next week or so, Maybe we're going to get an incredible season from CD. But typically, the closest thing gets to the start of the season, the more you got to be worried. So it's not a stark decrease, but Justin Jefferson's at the top of my list now anyway. Oh, I'm up. I'm up. All right. So Chris Olave just went. Michael Pittman, Nico Collins. See what other receivers are here that I like. Uh, DK, I think, is about to come home here. Yeah, this is uh, DK time. This is DK time. What running backs? Josh Jacobs, Shaw White. This is DK time. Actually, yes, yeah, DK time. Let me do that real quick. Oh shit, I'm end up missing the pick. I'm end up missing the pick. You guys like ESPN or Yahoo better? I go Yahoo. Yahoo better. Do you think there is a complete fall off in running backs after a certain point? Yes. So this is a very good question. I do think that there is a fall off in running backs. When you start getting to like outside of the top 28 running backs, I'll say there start to be a little bit of a drop off, right? Um, you get to the point where you're taking guys like, you know, your Najee Harris, your Raheem Moser, your Zamir White, your James Conner. And then directly after that, you're starting to go into more of the timeshare backs. So you just missed out on like the Tony Pollard, Tajay Spears run. Now you got to decide between Brian Robinson and Eckler. Now you got to decide between Zach Moss and Chase Brown. So instead of getting like a locked in RB1, now we're dealing with more of like who is the guy in the committee. So I think right outside like the top 30 is about where, where things start to get a little murky. Yo, Jay, and I seen you dropped a video on McCarthy out for the season. Yeah, I don't think it really hurts. I don't think it hurts uh, Justin Jefferson at all. Trade Swift for Higgins. I would rather have T. Higgins. Brees for Jefferson. I don't care. I'd rather have Jefferson. You think Jefferson's value dropped? No, I think Justin Jefferson's value stayed the same or went up. Stayed the same or went up. He's going to split attempts all year. Who are you talking about? I miss who you're talking about. Is Trevor Lawrence a top 10 QB this year? I think he gets there. I, I love getting him in the the. F what was it, QB 14, 15? I love getting them there. Uh, hit that like button, y'all. Y'all make sure to hit the like button. If you haven't hit the like button yet, man, what you doing? What you doing, man? What you doing? What about Diggs for Herbert and Romo Dunze? I would have Diggs. Dig side. Dig side easily. I don't think that's even close. Oh, yeah. So you guys got Kamara. I see you taking Kamara. I see you. Good pick, Ty. I see you, Ty. I see you, Ty. I see you, Ty. I see you, homie. <laughs> I see you reaching on Kamara. Is Rico Dello being slept on? Listen, this is a really good question because everything we're getting indication-wise is that this is going to be a committee in Dallas led by Ezekiel Elliott. But Rico Dello has been talked up uh, by a lot of the Cowboys beat writers. They're saying that he's going to have a, a, a role in this offense. It's just how – when we talk about slept on, obviously he's not even being drafted in most leagues, right, or very very deep on the bench. So what constitutes Rico Dowdle being of value, 
right? Like being slept on. I think he would have to enter startable territory. Otherwise, he's just a bench guy, you know? So I don't know about a sizable role in this offense, but I could see him having like a game or two that makes this question like, yo, should we pick him up right now? It would be, he would need a full takeover for him to be like slept on. So I think, yeah, maybe he's worth the back end bench spot. And if he doesn't produce in the first week or two, he's probably going to end up on waivers. Yeah, season getting closer in the Discord, starting getting more active. Listen, if you're not part of the Discord, man, join the Discord. Good group of guys in there, good group of people, guys, girls, female, everything, everything. Good group of people in there, man, doing the Lord's work. So helping out, answering questions, and you can get trade advice, feedback on, on your roster after you've mock draft or done a real draft. So, hey, yo, listen, if you're going to be in the draft, you can't auto, bruh. You can't auto pick. I haven't gotten through all the draft guide, but is auction draft tips in there? Yes, there is a whole page on auction drafts. And in the auction one flex league, do you have any advice for the whole auction? I have a whole list of tips in there for the auction, man. Um, but yeah, in one flex is treat it like, you know what I'm saying? Just always find value in, in anything, anything I say, find value. Make sure you find value. That'd be the one tip I think for any league that you're in is always look for value kind of fade what everybody else is reaching for and scoop up maybe some lost value where people are overlooking. That's what I would say. Okay. Appreciate you helping on these comments, bro. Nakua over London all day. Nah, no chance. No chance. Give me Drake. Give me Drake London over, over Puka. Who's the number two. Oh, that's what I, I forgot to look at where he was. Cooper cut. I, I probably, I would have took Cooper cup right there. He's so far down on the sleeper list. I'd be forgetting he's there sometimes. I'd be forgetting he's there sometimes. Super flex the way, best type of league, bring on more of these in the future. Yeah, it should be more super flex leagues. But I think at the end of the day, I'm like, I, at the end of the day, you, most people don't play super flex. So I got to cater. Like, I'm probably going to run this draft on, uh, on TikTok. Got to steal with cup. Good job, dude. That's you right there at the top spot. Good job. Good job. I like that. Yeah, that's that was a good pick. That was a good pick there. I think Cup is massively going to outplay his draft spot. I should have taken Cup there at the number two spot, but I honestly he was so far. I want to say it's sleeper. He's like forty five. I didn't even see him there. I was like, I think there's some. Remember, I think I said that during the draft. I think I was like, there's somebody here I'm missing, and that was him. That was him. Been here since last offseason. Appreciate you. It auto picked you. It's all right. I'm just gonna give you shit for it if it auto picks you. If it ever auto picks you, you're gonna hear like, damn it, you can't get auto picked. I'm just gonna give you. Give you a little bit of shit. Brandon Ayuk or Marvin Harrison? I think that's easily Brandon Ayuk, a 1,300-yard receiver. Are you doing money leagues of followers? I'll probably do one. One money league of followers. What's your favorite song? Hmm. I don't know if I have a favorite song. That's a really good question, bro. That's a really good question. What is my favorite song? What is my favorite song? That's a really good question, bro. I've never thought about that. All right, let me get my pick in, and I'm going to kind of look at this draft real quick. I like what Sonny G's doing here, loading up on receivers, taking Ridley right before my pick. Y'all know me, man. Y'all know me, don't you? All right, I'm going to go with my boy here. Like, I always take him. Chris Godwin, always on the squad. Always welcome to the – always welcome to the squad. Always welcome to the squad. Damn, good pick there, McBride. Good pick there, McBride. Oh, I got my next two picks coming up. I already know who my next two picks are. My next two picks, I already know who they are. <laughs> Cade, you need to chill on that, Cade. Chill on that. Chill, 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 chill. Gibbs still RB4. I've never had him as RB4. Who had him as RB4? He was. He's always been my RB6. Richardson or Daniels? I like Richardson and Daniels, both of them at the value. Yes, sir. Kobe, what's good, man? It is that time. It is that time. How you like Laporta, Jahan? Where do you like him? I think his ADP is too high. You know what? At the same time, I'm agreeing with you, but it's like he he performed. I just don't like him in the second or third round. Maybe fourth round. I think if he was fourth round, I'd consider it, but you low-key look like Noah Lyles, bro. I take that as disrespect. I take that as disrespect. Noah Lyles, all, we all look alike, right? Noah Lyles, bro, what? You feel comfortable taking London as your wide receiver one? Yeah. Why not? Like, I think a lot of people are thinking about last year with Desmond Ritter. 
and Arthur Smith's offense, and they're thinking about Drake London because they in their head decided that he was going to elevate, right? But when you got a guy like Drake London who is with Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins is going to lean into him and Kyle Pitts in the passing game. Obviously, B. John Robinson, too, and Darnell Mooney. But, like, those are going to be his two guys. And I was doing my homework on, on the Vikings receivers last year, and when you talk about T.J. Hawkinson was averaging nine targets a game. Nine targets a game. Justin Jefferson was averaging 12 targets a game. And this is the exact same offense. Exact, damn near same offense. So if I'm looking at Drake London, if they're really going to use him like he's their Justin Jefferson, which should be their plan since they took him early in the draft and he has pretty good, I would say, oh, damn, y'all cleaned up. Y'all cleaned up on all my damn picks, bro. Y'all cleaned up, man. That pisses me off. Y'all cleaned up. Damn. Mm, all right, let's go Jaden Reed here. Y'all cleaned up, man. But, uh, shit, what was I talking about? Oh, if they use Drake London anywhere near what they're going to use, how they use Justin Jefferson, Cooper Cup, anybody's in that style of offense, we're going to see 100, 130 to 150 targets to Drake London, maybe more. So, yeah, I'm I'm really cool with Drake London as my wide receiver one. And I think a lot of people are thinking of last year and the fact that he hasn't had a chance yet to have that breakout year. So you're drafting him kind I would say you're kind of drafting him at his ceiling, but I think the ceiling is much higher than where he's going right now, personally. ESPN is not the best app. ESPN is not the best app. Uh, don't I might be late to the party, but thoughts on Pittman? Pittman's elite. He had 157 targets last year. I see that number going up. Yeah, can't mock with them. They're all <laughs> they all clones. <laughs> thoughts on Scary Terry at his ADP? I think he's a value as a wide receiver three or wide receiver four for your team. I think he's a really good value. Overall, right now, I kind of like the way this draft is going. This is I've seen more tight ends go in this in this fourth and fifth or fifth and sixth round right now. So my anticipation is quarterbacks probably going to – there's going to be a run on quarterbacks here soon. Probably going to be a run on tight ends to finish this thing off. So everybody's kind of got their starters. In your drafts, and you guys take this advice right now too, I always feel like when you notice that there's probably going to be a run on quarterbacks or tight ends, it's okay to still scoop up guys that you like at the running back and, tight and receiver position. What happens in the cor- during the course of the year? Injuries happen. And also what else happens? Bye weeks happen, right? And if you're in active leagues like, like our YouTube league, oh my lord. If you're like, if you're in active leagues, like like you know, your leagues they trade and they add drop players a lot. Sometimes just getting extra bench depth can help you out with trades. So a lot of people like to fill their lineups up. They like to get a quarterback, a tight end, two running backs, and two receivers, and then they start working on their bench. That's how 60% of people draft. I think you can draft and go a lot later on quarterback, a lot later on tight end, and then have depth. Like, think about it. If you draft right now, the best available receiver is Romo Dunze, Xavier Worthy, people like that, DeAndre Hopkins, Jackson Smith and Jigba, et cetera. Now, if you're like, I got to reach on a tight end and the tight end doesn't pan out, you you have a player you can trade, right? Like they lose a receiver or they lose a running back. You have a player you can trade and trade them a secondary tight end they're going to be like, oh, this is a good deal. So I always use my bench as like either I can start them or I'm trying to flip them. Those are That's kind of how I use my bench. And I think in the draft, a lot of people go to I have to get every single starter, not knowing that like once, once there's five quarterbacks, what, five quarterbacks off the board, there's really only seven left that are going to get drafted. So if you have a couple guys in mind, like I can go down seven and I'm like, all right, I would take CJ Stroud. I would take Joe Burrow. I would take Dak. I would take Kyler Murray. I would take Jordan Love. I would take Brock Purdy. I would take Caleb. I would take Tua. I would take Jared. Like you can go down the list and find seven guys and there's no reason to panic on quarterback. If you can't do that, now's the time to start thinking about it. You know, like once you realize, all right, there's there's not enough players for me to trust in, that's probably when you need to start thinking about taking it. Other than that, it's it's time to be really strategic on how you use your bench. That's how I personally do it. A lot of people don't like those teams because they don't look full. They don't. Like when you take when you take a team that has uh, 
when you take a team that has holes in the starting lineup, people look at that and they're like, shit, I need a better quarterback or I need a better tight end. They're not comfortable with having maybe a guy that's a, at a back tier. They want all of their team to be valuable, right? My starting lineup. But what happens throughout the year? Roles change. Everything changes throughout the season. So if you have more depth at those premium positions, especially running back and wide receiver, and you didn't have to reach, now you have value. Sorry, I went a little long winded on that. Hopefully that was helpful. But like, that's how I use my bench. Typically, I'm always trying to look for like, all right, if somebody came out of this draft and they were weak at running back, do I have one I could flip to them? Do I have one I could flip? Uh, do I have a tight end I could flip to them? Like if somebody is weak at a position, do I have a position that I can trade to somebody who maybe missed over that position and now try to find value somewhere else? That's typically how I draft. Yeah, Jaden Daniels, bro. I'll take Jaden Daniels late. Is 14-man league horrible? No. So 14-man league is great. I think it's very competitive. The thing is you just want to make sure you're not starting too many spots. And also what happens with a 14-team league is one injury can kind of wreck you a little bit. 16-team is worse. Alex, my man, say current rankings, you have Jacobs and White over DK, but you took DK. Are the new ratings going to be very changed? No, they're, they are changed. Burnberger was good, bro. Uh, they are changed. I have changed them. And I think I have both White and Jacobs a little bit lower. But it's also the draft. Like, I'm going through the draft and I'm noticing what players are available, right? So I don't just stick straight to the script. I'm not a – I don't draft like I have to take this player because I have them ranked higher. I knew my, my receiver tiers. I knew what kind of receiver I wanted. And I already have a running back. So maybe I had, I had taken – Say I took Jamar Chase right there at the at, instead of Saquon Barkley. I may not have needed DK Metcalf as my third receiver. I may have been able to say, okay, now I take Joe Mixon or Josh Jacobs or Rashad White or whoever it is. Now I take them as my RB1. But because I knew I wanted another receiver, now I said, okay, let me get the receiver instead that I want because I think he's around the same value. So if it's similar value, similar tier, I'm going to pick the position that I want. But other than that, I'm taking best player available. Shit, I missed my pick. CJ Stroud. I'll take CJ Stroud there. That's cool. Actually, I don't want CJ Stroud, bro. I'm over here flapping my gums. Let's do that again. Let me see who else is there. Because if not, I will take CJ. Uh, Yeah, I'll just take CJ. That's fine. CJ's fine there. What's good, y'all? What's good? What's good? DMs you're on TikTok down to come on our podcast sometime, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I got to check the DM first of all, see what it is. But um, right now is like kind of a busy time for me. <laughs> Putting out all the content and stuff, maybe like a little bit later into the season. If you reach out to me a little bit later into the season, right now is a very hectic time for me, though. I'll tell you that. But I appreciate the offer. We can get down sometime, just not any time in the next like month or two. I'm probably I'm, I'm kind of tapped out right now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I never do 12 mans. I'm a 10 man guy. This shit too hard. Nah, this is how you get better though, bro. I'm not gonna judge your team. I am gonna judge your team. Cause Damon, I do know you be in my comments talking a lot of shit, homie. So I am gonna be hard on your team, but you, you'll get better. You will get better. I promise you that. Thoughts on James Conner for RB2. I think he's a good RB2. He's a good RB2. Yeah, comments. You see some of these guys in the comments, they don't know. I'll be looking, bro. I'll be watching these comments, man. So I know I know who'll be in there, who's a supporter, who's a hater. Or maybe just a sneak hater because they don't want their friends to know that they like my page. It's one of them, too. One of them, too. I don't care either way. But we still going to rock, Damon. Still going to rock, all right? And I'm letting you know I know. I'm letting you know I know, bro. <laughs> Justin, you got one more mock in you? Maybe. Maybe. The vibe is good right now. The vibe is really good right now. You feel me? I'm, the vibes are good, man. You know what I'm saying? The vibes are excellent. Appreciate you, Danny. Always ride, my dude. Always. Is AR fifth round lock? Uh, he didn't go fifth. Uh, he did go fifth round in this draft. My dude, Colby, bro. I took your advice to two ships last year. HM better than JT. What? In what world is Devon HM better than Jonathan Taylor? In what world? In what world? He don't he won't score as many touchdowns. He won't get as many rushing yards. What world? You have Devontae so high. Why is he high? He's a wide receiver seven. 
Why is that high? He was a wide receiver 10 last year and got a quarterback upgrade. Why is that high? JJ is my number one receiver. And this is a very unpopular thing, probably, especially after today. A lot of people think that JJ McCarthy would have helped his value and that Darnold hurts his value. I don't agree with that. I think Darnold already steps in as a pro. We know he has a live arm. And uh, yeah, I, I feel very good about Kevin O'Connell's system more so than I do about like the quarterback scenario. I feel very good about him as my number one. Is Ridley a reach in the sixth? Absolutely not. You worried about Cup with Stafford's injury? No, nah, Stafford's a gamer. He normally plays through stuff. I'm not. I ain't worried about Cup. I ain't worried about Cup. Yo, so we got to we got to 50k on TikTok. The next milestone is 7,500 on here, or is it 10k? Should I make it 10k the next milestone or 7,500 here on YouTube? One of those two. It's got to be either 10k or 7,500. Which one are we pushing to next? Which one are we pushing to next? Why are Nico and Marvin so overpriced, but Diggs and Cup underpriced? Your guess is as good as mine, bro. Your guess is as good as mine. I think it's because they're old. They're old. ESPN pushing A-Chan down for Yates to get him late. <laughs> is that what they're doing? Is that what they're doing? All right, let me make my pick this time instead of missing it. Oh, yeah. We in DeAndre this late? Let's do it. D-Hop is the fifth receiver. I'll take it. I feel about Garrett Wilson, Jamar Chase. I think Garrett Wilson will be – he'll be good this year. I think a lot of people were expecting, like, wide receiver one ceiling. I don't see the wide receiver one, but he should be a top ten receiver. Uh, Aaron Rodgers coming back, I think that's going to help out his touchdowns a lot, help him in the red zone. I could I could see him having a, a ton of blow-up games. So the only thing is I just think that during – you know, Brees Hall, they got him big part of the offense. Um, I think Braylon Allen's going to be a better part of the offense than people think. Mike Will, Malachi Corley, like they have offensive weapons. So Aaron Rodgers is not a 4,000-yard passer anymore. I think people just need to get that through their head. Like he's not a 4,000-yard passer anymore. So, um, But the touchdowns could still be there, still 25 to 30 touchdowns. That's where I got Garrett Wilson. I think at he should be a wide receiver one player, but I just don't see like the wide receiver one. I'm not as high as everybody else is on him. Rather have Jaden Reed or JSN. Give me Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed. Jay Slay was good. He said, what's up? Wednesday Night Vibes. Hell yeah, man. Appreciate you tapping in, dog. Appreciate you tapping in. Ooh, I scrolled to the end. There we go. 10K? That's the one. 10K. 10K, baby. 10K. All right, that's the new golden. 10K on YouTube, bro. What do we need to do to hit that? Y'all help me out. Y'all need to help me out. <laughs> I didn't know receivers were all going to be gone. Holy 12s are hard. These motherfuckers never take that QB or tight end. Bro, these, I'm telling you, dog, everybody looks at my mock drafts and they're like, oh, this is fake. This is fake. And it's like when you come into a draft, especially with like these seasoned guys, these are seasoned players in here. You can tell the difference. And, and yeah, it's going to make life harder on you. So join some mocks too, whether it's with them, whether it's with me. Uh, find a way to join some more mocks, man, because – it, that's the way, honestly, like the more you mock draft, the more you're going to be able to figure out like your strengths and weaknesses, who you want to take, who you don't want to take. That's the way to do it. So appreciate you. Vertical life. I got you. I got you. Uh, shit. Let me try to, I'm gonna try to rapid fire through some of these questions. We got a lot of questions coming. I'm like 15 minutes behind already. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I definitely got to pop in the Discord some more. It's all good, fam. Typically, Lamar, Allen, Vice, but after I miss them, late rounders, Lover, Lawrence, I love them both. Would you grab Cup at his ADP, so third round? Absolutely, I would. I would I would try to get him at, at ADP, but if I was in the middle to back it, like I probably should have took Cooper Cup there. Where I at Drake Lennon's spot, that should say Cooper Cup. But if I missed out on him anywhere from there to like the back end of the second, if I felt good about him, like at the back end of the second round, I might take somebody else. I might just be like, yo, I'll take somebody else instead of Cooper Cup and try to get him based on ADP later. But depends on who you draft him with. Tis for startup, super flex, dynasty, tight end premium as well. Um, draft prime, draft prime. If you're going to draft, make sure it's prime players. Everybody in super, and when they hear the word dynasty, they think they got to get rookies or players that haven't entered their prime yet. Win your championship. Draft players in their prime. Draft players in their prime. 
you have a general approach for auction in terms of spending early to get your guys because people are holding or waiting and spending cheap at times, always get at least one or two elite players, always. So be willing to spend early, I would say, in the first two rounds. Make sure you come out at least with, like, one or two players. And then I prefer to hold your water and find, like, just scoop up mid-round value, right? The elite guys are elite. They can win you your weeks. But a lot of times where you win your fantasy championship is when you find the studs in the mid round. So if you can scoop up a bunch of guys in the mid rounds that like have fallen value or maybe have a lot of upside that you like, you can get them for cheap. That's what I prefer to do. So I spend, I try to spend on two players early. Sometimes I get caught spending on a third. It happens. But yeah, I feel like, um, you know, in an auction draft, you want to make sure you have money for those value rounds because it does happen. Trey, what's good, bro? What's good, Trey? I live in dog. Win every year. Yes. Dynasty tip. Win every year. Don't snipe me. Hopefully I didn't snipe you, Sonny G. I just got done with the mock. You had the third pick. Got Bijan, Pacheco, Neighbors. I'm not really feeling that squad, just to be real with you. Tyreek said he beat Lyles. <laughs> Old ass Tyreek in five years, huh? Damn, somebody's loading up on running backs. Who is that? Squad three right there did not address the running back position, but is loading up. I got to see what these teams look like at the end. Uh, I have the last pick in a 10-man. I want either Cup, Debo, or Evans, but I have the last pick in the third. What's that mean? Don't take don't take those. You can get better than those guys in the first round. White, Evans, Brees in round four last year carried me. Damn. Yes. See, finding, scooping up the middle, the middle rounds, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, that George Pickens, I know a lot of people don't like it, but, like, George Pickens, Calvin Ridley, Chris Godwin, I keep talking about these names. They're severely undervalued in drafts right now. So, and then you get names like Alvin Kamara, Joe Mixon. Like, there are some players who their ADP is, like, significantly lower than it should. Jalen Waddell, Devontae Smith, T. Higgins. The list goes on. You can really get a lot of value there in those middle rounds. It is my turn to pick. Dallas Goddard just went. I was going to look at tight end. Mm. Am I? I'm not going to wait. I'm going to grab Bateman right now because Jaw ja, is Jaw in this draft. Jaw ja always sneaks for shot Bateman. I'll grab my tight end last. This is the perfect year for Smith, Waddle, T. Yes, because all those guys were going early last time, right? They were all going top 15. And this year, they're all going outside the top 20. It's like we know those guys are typically top 20 guys when they play. You're T. Higgins, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith. So, uh, And, no, I don't think Pickens is a hit. I think his ceiling takes a hit. He's going to be the same type of floor. If I you go to the Steelers, Pickens is still going to be good. He just won't be like 1,300 yards good. Didn't do any research this year. You better do some research, homie. That OG Patreon auction draft was tough. Need more practice with auction drafts. Yeah, I don't want to do any more auction. I, I love auction drafts. They just take too long on stream. And then I get, like, kind of bored of them. So I don't think I'm going to do that. We're probably just going to do regular. A lot of people are complaining about it, too. Jahan knows they always kind of been fades for me, but they cash at their ADP. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like those guys. Like last year, I was in on Devontae Smith, in on T. Higgins, in on Jalen Waddle early. But I think this year, man, it's like there's there's so many receivers this year. What's good, yo? Jack, what's popping, bro? What's popping? All right, let me grab my tight end here. And, you know, I haven't talked a lot about uh, this pick that I'm going to make right now. But I'm going to take TJ Hawkinson. And I need to probably talk a little bit more about that because I think if you can get TJ Hawkinson and pair him up with another tight end, you put TJ Hawkinson on IR, it's not a bad pick to have. If you can't put him on IR, but the coach talked about he's going to come back in the first half of the year. So even if it takes him a few games to get going, maybe you maybe you don't get any production out of him. But like later in your draft, it's cool. If you reach on Hawkinson, I'm not a fan of that, if that makes sense. Like I'm OK with like getting him at value. But reaching on him, I'm not. But you do need to pair him up with another tight end, which I'm not going to be able to do right now. But I don't mind the pick. He was going a little higher than this before, and his ADP has kind of calmed down a little bit. So I don't mind TJ Hawkinson. One more? One more after this? One more after this? Y'all want to do another one? Y'all want to do another one? What time is it? 
right, man, nah, I'm going to rate these teams. Let me rate these teams and see where we're at. Let me rate these teams and see where we're at. Feeling on HN, he has a lower floor than people want to admit. What do you think about rate neighbors in round five or six? I don't mind round six. He just goes a little early. The late lives are cool, man. The late lives, it's a different vibe. It's a different vibe with the late lives, man. Man, this I got to get through this chat. TikTok. I want to show y'all love some more, but this YouTube chat is flooded, man. And I'm about to get through it and then rate these teams. So TikTok has been real. Appreciate you getting me to 50K, man. Y'all doing the Lord's work. I'll be back with some more posts tomorrow. I'll see y'all later. If you want to mock, I might do one more. Maybe. Peace out. All right, let me go through. I'm about to I'm about to murk these comments before I re rate the team. I'm gonna try to catch up. I'm like 20 minutes behind. I'm gonna at least catch up to like the 9 15 comments. All right. Who's at the 106? Do we have somebody trolling? Do we have somebody trolling and I missed it at the 106? Why did you take Saquon over Chase? Because I, I like Saquon better. Team three is nasty. There's there's a few good teams on here. Yeah, we're gonna do maybe we'll do another one. Y'all want to do another one? Another mock? Uh, is late QB better than late tight end in deeper leagues this year? Yes. I would rather, if you're going to go late on a, on one, go late on quarterback. You know what I mean? Go late on both. I don't mind going late on both. But if you're going to choose one, go later on quarterback. I got auto-drafted if you're wondering about CJ Stroud. Guys, don't be robots. Draft guides are a helping tool. You don't have to draft like a robot. Use that fantasy IQ and see how the draft is playing out. Please, please, please listen to Daniel. I made a draft guide with so much information, and if all you do is just go look at the last couple pages for the rankings, you didn't do yourself a service. So please listen to Daniel and also like kind of vibe out your draft. You always got to make sure to vibe out your draft. Always. Just want to pop it. Herms, what's good, bro? Yo, what's happening? I ain't seen Herms in a minute, bro. We got to touch base at some point, man. Herms, if y'all don't follow Herms on social media, Herms NFL, I want to say, is his tag on Twitter. This is a solid dude in the industry, man. There's a lot of people that do content for whatever reasons, and then there's people who are true to themselves, man. Herms has been on this channel before, a very solid dude in this space, man. Y'all follow Herms on Twitter, bro. That's that's a friend of the show, man. Appreciate you, appreciate you coming by, bro. Herms, man. Good dude. Good dude. MJH or JJ and Dynasty? I don't. I'm, I'm good with Jettas. I'm good with Jettas. I don't mind Marvin Harrison, though. Cody was popping. He said, how would you rank Monty, Ramondre, Najee, Connor? Uh, give me Ramondre out of, out of all four. Out of all four. Yeah, we're going to do 10K subs, bro. We're going to do 10K subs. That's going to be the new goal. 10K subs. I got to figure out something to do. Something to do if we hit 10K. I got to figure out something to do for 10K. We're at like 7,100. So I got to figure out something to do for 10K. If it happens during this season, I got to figure out something to do. I'm going to go over all the teams in just a minute. I love doing mocks, gets us ready for all of our real drafts. Exactly, exactly. Third year is seasoned. If you, have you won a championship, Jorge? If you haven't won a championship, you ain't seasoned. I'll say that. If you won a championship, I would start to say, I would start to say you are, are seasoned. Can we do another draft? Really want to be in one. All right. I'm about to drop it in the Discord as I'm rating the teams. All right. As I'm rating the teams, I'm going to drop it in the Discord. So if you haven't joined the Discord yet, here's the link. And tell me if this works or not. Somebody said this doesn't work. So here's the link to the Discord. Also, if anybody wanted a link to my uh, to the draft guide, I got you on 30% off for this stream right here, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually turn it up, man. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it a 30% off because y'all y'all turn me up, man. So here it is. I was debating if I was gonna let it go on sale again, but y'all been showing love, man. Here is the draft guide 30% off if you want it. If you want it. If you don't, it ain't gonna hurt my feelings, man. I not I know not everybody needs it. Uh, but for those who do. There's some love on it. Sent you a DM on Sleepers trying to figure out the app. Have a couple drafts on there soon. Um, you know who's actually a good resource is Sleeper on Twitter. 
So I, I probably, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to just walk you through the sleeper app. Maybe somebody in the discord can help you out or uh, just, just uh, tag, tag sleeper app. They're normally pretty good about getting back to you on questions. So I, I don't know if I'll have time to like walk you through the app, unfortunately, but what's your opinion on the new auto sub feature? I hope it doesn't get abused, exploited. And normally in the first year there's kinks to work out. So I'm kind of against it. I'm not going to have it in my leagues. Just got to pay attention to your roster. Um, and like, what if it subs somebody? What if it says they're out and they're playing? Or what if last minute you thought that sleeper counted them as out, but they didn't? Or what if they didn't get ruled out until after the game time started? Like, how does that all work? Or what if they, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if they play one play and they're out? Do they Are they going to count that then? So I got to see how it works before I'm going to implement that in any of my leagues. Uh, if you had four stud receivers, how would you feel about mid RBs? I'm cool with them. As long as you got good mid receivers, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. All right. I think I've caught up. I've caught up a good amount. So you any offline drafts in person? Yeah, I'll have a couple offline drafts. The live draft, man, you can't repeat. You can't. Honestly, you can't like. You can't replicate. I was, I was looking for the word in my head. I didn't have it. You, you can't replicate live draft. You can't. Rate my draft a 7.5. Let me rate these teams real quick. All right, rating the teams, and then let me drop a link for the new one in here real quick. Drop a link. Oh, should I, I should not have taken that down. I'm going to go from – somebody asked for the two spot. Let me just do the two spot right now. Somebody asked for the two spot earlier. All right. Link copied. And it's in the chat. It's in the chat. Let me pull this shit back up now. Mm. My bad. I was trying to get this shit all figured out, guys. Give me a second. Got a lot going on here. A lot going on. Damn, that shit is filled up before I could even get it on the screen. Y'all crazy, bro. Oh, and I was supposed to be sharing the other screen. Damn. Y'all filled that up before I could even get back on the screen. That's wild. Hopefully everybody who wanted to get in got in. Um, So let's go to stop screen and we got share screen. The old draft. Let's get through this ranking real quick. All right, Damon. So you got CeeDee Lamb, Cooper Cup. Curtis Samuel, Khalil Shakir. Yeah, you, you kind of messed up with the receivers there. You got Isaiah Pacheco, Najee Harris, Zamir White, Jalen Hurts, and Kelsey. So I see what you did there. You probably are used to there being more receivers, but this is also a part of like playing your draft and understanding who you're drafting with. So if you notice a lot of quarterbacks and tight ends having gone, I genuinely would recommend like not being the first one to take both. So I think you cleaned up, you know, you obviously got elite quarterback, elite tight end. I would have liked to see better running backs. And then I think your receiver three needed some work too. But other than that, yeah, this is, it's not a strong team. I would say has potential, but not a strong team. I get us like a 7.4. This one right here, 7.4. Miguel, you got Bijan, Achan, and Swift with Debo Samuel. Rishi Rice is your number two. You took Rishi Rice hella early. Um, Rishi Rice is your number two. Keon Coleman is your number three. Kincaid as your tight end. You got Chase Brown, Shuba Hubbard, so good upside in Florida air on your bench. I'm not a fan of this team. This is a three receiver. Hopefully you guys know this is three receivers. We only got two here. So, uh, and Rishi Rice obviously is going to be in, in a situation where everybody gets the football. I like Bijan at two. I like Debo at your second pick. I'm not a, I like Lamar at your fifth pick and even Kincaid in the seventh. I'm not a fan of the rest of your draft, though. I give this like a 7.4. Superfly tie. You got Tyree Kill, Puka Nakua, Marvin Harrison, Mahomes, Mark Andrews, Dave Montgomery, and Jalen Warren as your starting backs. Jonathan Brooks off the bench. You're going to need him later. Jerome Ford and Jalen Wright. I'm not a fan of this team at all. Who's your flex right now? Brian Thomas is your flex. So if Brian Thomas or Harrison does not pan out, you got two running backs and a timeshare as your starting backs and Puka Nakua is starting the season injured and he could be the wide receiver too for that team. Yeah. I'm a little concerned about this roster. Um, this to me, yeah, this is a lower end team too. This is like a seven, I was like a seven, five, maybe seven, four, seven, five. 
I actually don't mind Harrison there in the third. There's some other receivers I ought to take, but I think if you're going to get him, take him in the third, not the second. Uh, Junior with Christian McCaffrey, ETN, Brandon Ayuk, T. Higgins, Romo Dunze, Jordan Addison. Jordan Addison just went down today. I think he will be – they said it's a minor injury, thankfully, for him. Got good value there on David Njoku in the ninth round. Good value on Josh Allen in the fourth round. You were the first one to take a quarterback, so – uh, you you know, that was I, I think you still got good value on that. But your receivers leave a little bit to, to be desired. You're going to rely a lot on Roma Dunze, like your running backs. I'm not a huge fan of ETM, but I'm not mad where you took him. I think this is like a seven five. So I'm not really a fan of these first four teams right now. I don't think any of these teams, honestly, is like a playoff team. May yeah, maybe this one if the running back, if you got to get two running backs to hit for you, though, maybe that one. HD vibes with Jefferson, Derrick Henry, Kenneth Walker, Nico Collins, Terry McLaurin. Very good start there. Kyler Murray and Ferguson at your quarterback and tight end. Good job. You got Lad McConkey, Tank Dell. Uh, so Dell's going to be your flex. Trey Benson, Jerry Judy, Don Tavian Woods. I like this team a little bit better. I would give this like a 7-7 because I think it's pretty strong all the way around. Um, you have some good depth here. The only thing is you just need one of these guys to hit for your flex, and I'd be worried to hell about your running back depth. Trey Benson, especially if he's not the starter. So you'd have to work on your running backs. Still not a bad draft. I give it like a 7-7, seven, 7-8. Seven, seven, Yorch, you got Amon Ross St. Brown, Michael Pittman, Christian Kirk, Deontay Johnson. Good job at receiver. James Cook, Javante Williams, Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, obviously, your running back's a little weaker, but it's not bad given everything else you got. You took Laporta a little early, in my opinion. The next tight end didn't go to the fifth round. So kind of lost some value there. And in quarterback, you got Dak Prescott in the 10th round, which is amazing value, man. So I would say good job, Christian Watson, there for some upside, too. Great job at receiver. I, I guess it worked out for you taking Laporta that early. Um, but your running backs, obviously running backs got to hit. This is the best team so far. I guess it's like an eight. This is the best team so far, though. Oh, shit. This is the one. Sunny G, bro. <laughs> you were just cleaning up, weren't you? Brees Hall, Stephon Diggs, Chris Olave, Amari Cooper, Calvin Ridley. So you got four. Guys that could easily lead their teams in receiving. Plus, plus Brees Hall, you got Raheem Mostert for floor, Pollard and Moss, both good backs in their own right. Romeo Dobbs and Jacoby Myers. I would have liked to see you get a little upside since you had such strength at receivers there. I don't mind getting Dobbs and Myers, but you have all floor guys. Like, you don't have anybody if they boom, now you can win your league, you know? Like, Romeo Dobbs is who he is. Jacoby Myers is who he is. That's the only thing I would have said with the strength you had at receiver. You already have four like dialed in receivers. I would have liked to see a little bit more upside down there. But other than that, this is a good draft. Dallas Goddard and Caleb Williams, obviously not the strongest quarterback and tight end combo, but uh yeah, I give this, I would give this like an eight, eight point one. If Caleb hits his team, is is gonna compete compete for a championship. I got Saquon, Drake Lennon, Metcalf, Godwin, and Reed. I would have I wish I would have got Cooper Cup there. I'd have felt a little bit better about this squad. I like getting Joe Mixon where I got him. Uh, but having Jaden Reed Singletary at the flex, I don't think I'm mad at that. TJ Hawkinson, I, I wish I would have got a different tight end earlier. But you guys did a good job at, like, kind of scooping up the elite tight ends when you did. CJ Stroud, I wouldn't have taken him there. I probably would have took somebody later. But I'm not mad at getting him for the value in the eighth round. So uh, I think this team is obviously a playoff contender, probably like an 8-1, I'd say. Aiden Lee with Jamar Chase, Mike Evans, Jacobs, Pickens, McBride. Ramondre, JSN, this is a good team. Tajay Spears, JMO got some upside there. Joe Burrow super late with McBride. This is a good team, bro. This is probably my favorite team so far, even though it has Jamar Chase. Uh, this is my favorite team so far. I'll give this like an 8 4. TH22, Amon Ross St. Brown, Devontae Adams, Keenan Allen, Kamara, Rashad White, George Kittle. You got some up, upside with Xavier Worthy. Good backup in Gus Edwards. Uh, Jaden Daniels, Mike Williams, Adam Thielen, Zach Charbonnet. Yeah, this is this is a solid team. This is easy. This is like an eight four to me. The only weakness I could say is like I don't really see a weakness on this team. Maybe down at the bottom, you didn't get you could got some better upside. Thielen, Mike Will, and Charbonnet, but even still, uh, you did a great job here. That's like an eight four. So the back half of this draft is killing right now, in my opinion. Garrett Wilson, Kyron. DJ Moore, Malik Neighbors, James Conner, Zay Flowers, Evan Ingram, Jordan Love. So you did good at receiver. I think you got decent value on all your receivers. Maybe a slight reach on Malik Neighbors, but 
Uh, I think it'll work out for you still. Kyron and James Conner, decent starters there. Evan Ingram, Jordan Love, you did a good job overall. I think the reach was probably Kyron for me personally. I think Kyron was the reach there. I would rather had a receiver there and maybe got, you know, one of the running backs there in the fourth round. But overall, it should be a strong team. I get it's like an A1. Then Gibbs and Taylor. So this is the question everybody asks, too, is what do you do at the 12 spot, right? Because most of the time you got two running backs that are staring in front of you. So you took Gibbs, you took Taylor, which I like. Got Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith, Hollywood Brown, who's injured out for the first couple weeks. Still probably a good value there in the eighth round. Tyler Lockett, who you could probably start, but you don't want to. And then Nick Chubb, who's going to be on PUP probably to start the season. Austin Eckler, who's going to be a good value there. And Antonio Gibson, who offers at least some good depth. I think I would have liked to see one more receiver on this team, but you do have Anthony Richardson and Pitts who could both finish top of their position. So I'm not mad at it. You've got the good upside to balance your floor. I get it seem like an eight. All right, let me know how to how, if y'all agree with the rankings or not. I know most of the time y'all don't. I know most of the time y'all don't.